Capsulators, this is me, Anti Elite. I'm hoping that y'all had a wonderful Christmas, and it's time for another episode of Eve Basic, how to do the basic things in Eve. Now today I'm going to be talking about bookmarks and safe spots, how to set up bookmarks and what the purpose of safe spots is, and uh, I'll also go into a little bit about how to make bookmarks around different things so that you can do some kind of cool stuff. Now I'm going to try and spare you the, uh, I'm going to try and spare you as much flying around as I can. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to set up a safe spot, and this will actually teach you how to set up a bookmark as well. So the first thing that I would want you to do is press F11. Now by default, F11 brings up this cool window here to the uh, right side of your screen that shows the solar system map, constellation map, region map, and universe map. Now the only thing that you really need to concern yourself with, and at least for this episode, is the solar system map. And you see down here you have all the different uh, all the different stars and and uh, and asteroid belts and all that that you can warp to. That's cool, and that's going to help us set up our bookmarks. Now the other thing that that uh, you'll need to do is go up here to your People and Places window. Now you'll probably remember this from the Agent Finder tutorial. Click on People and Places. Now down here you have a few. Uh, well, let me back it up a little bit. You have the Places tab here. Now remember from earlier, Agents and, con and uh, Contacts. Now here's Places. Now you see this little button at the bottom that says Add Location. Now let me just add one right here. You, give the, uh, you have the opportunity to label it. Now you can label that whatever you want. I'm just going to call it, uh, well I have no idea how to pronounce this system, so I'm just going to type that and label it that. Now you can also make notes on it if you'd like, and folders. You have the option of personal locations or corporation locations. Now I'm in an NPC corp on this character, so I can't save it under corporation locations. So I'll save it under personal. Now you'll notice that this one is in green. That means it is in this system. Now the other thing is there would be a little drop down menu for corporation locations if I were in a corporation and the, and those would be locations that were set up by either the CEO or you know some other person inside your corporation that is doing uh, maybe scanning something along those lines um, anyway somebody that has the authority to make bookmarks for the corp so let me just close that out real quick now I'll show you something right click now down here you have personal locations the station that I just saved and you see approach show info that kind of thing the same thing that you would get if you were trying to warp to any other place. Well, now let's bring back up the people and places window and we'll set up a bookmark. Now, I'll, I will just, uh, I'm going to try and keep it small so that you don't have to watch me doing a lot of warping around. Now, I'll just click on, I don't want to go to a moon. Let's go to the planet. I will say warp to within zero. And you'll see down here you have a warp drive active distance 11.9 AU now somewhere in the middle of that warp you'll see I'm beginning my warp now I'm going to click on add location I'll do that right now so what I'll do is I'll call this spot 1 and then I'll say submit and now it'll be saved so spot 1 just remember is halfway between this station here and this planet here now let me make a second spot. Now, like I said, bear with me a little bit because this is just going to be a little bit annoying, me setting up all these different safe spots. But now I'm warping down here to uh, Yususoko. <laughs> I think I did pretty well on that. Eight, moon six. Bring up people and places again. Now, you see I have about 22 AU uh, to warp. So somewhere around halfway through that, I'll say add location. I will call this one spot two. Now with spot two saved, now you'll recall that spot one is somewhere around here, spot two is somewhere around here. Now what we want to do is warp back to spot two. So now you'll see here personal locations, spot one, spot two. Now I'll go to spot two and warp to within zero. Now what I have you doing here is actually setting up a safe spot. Now a safe spot is a location that is in space and it is not anywhere near any sort of celestial or any sort of station or anything like that. It is way out in the middle of space. 
where the only way to find you is by using combat scanner probes. Now the reason that this is helpful is mostly in null sec and low sec, but it can be helpful in high sec. And it's mainly just to stay away from any sort of any any sort of trouble basically. If you get into trouble and there's some combat going on and you need to disappear, the easiest way to do it is to go to a safe spot first. So that way you can collect your thoughts and figure out where you want to go. So now you'll see on my little map down here at the bottom right, I'm just moving my camera around to demonstrate where I am. I'm right here, so I kind of borked up setting my safe. I should have set it somewhere in here. But let me let me warp over to spot one now. Now you'll see that down here, 22.3 AU from here to spot one. Let me bring up people and places again. Somewhere around halfway through that, I'm going to add my location. Now I will call this safe spot one. Now I do like to keep a pretty easy naming convention on my safe spots. That helps me out, but I will show you when there's some times that you would want to um, change up how you name it, so that way you know what you're you know exactly what you're looking for when you bring up that right-click menu, and you may have to click something in a panic. So here's safe spot one in my personal locations. Let me right-click, safe spot one, warp to location within zero. Now this should bring me somewhere in here. At least that's what I'm hoping. It's a little bit difficult to triangulate this to start with. But let me bring up people and places. Let me right click on spot one. Say remove location. Yes. Spot two. Remove location. Yes. Now then, where am I in the solar system? Apparently I'm still over here. Okay, cool. Well, either way, I am nowhere near anything. As you can see, I'm about 3 AU from the uh, from the station. I am 1,000 or 1 million 559 kilometers from the nearest asteroid belt. So somebody may be trying to scan me down with their directional scanner, which is something that I'll go into later. And if somebody was trying to do that, then they may think that I'm at that asteroid belt, which could work to my advantage. They could fly to the belt and try and find me, thinking that I'm there, but I won't be. So let me show you something else cool. Let me just press F, t or I'm sorry, I meant to say F11. F10 brings up your map. Now, let me go down to the station again. Warp to location within zero. I'll just warp back to the front of that station. And I'll show you another kind of neat little tool for, uh, for bookmarks. It has to do with what's known as a quick undock. Now, the purpose of a quick undock is to allow you to immediately warp uh, in a straight line in case that there's somebody sitting outside the station camping you into it. Now obviously this won't happen too often in high sec unless you're at war with another uh, with another corporation in high sec but in low sec and null sec this can this can be very handy. Now I'm not right on the undock so before you set up your undock you want to dock first and then subsequently undock. Now once I've undocked, I'm going to fly in a straight line until I'm at least 200 kilometers away from the, uh, from the station. Now I'll go ahead and start doing that here. As you, you probably realize that once you get booted out, you're automatically flying. So let me just turn on my, uh, let's see, is this an afterburner or a microwarp drive? It's an afterburner. Okay, so this may take a while. Um, I will probably end up clipping this out. All right, so here I am about 250k away from the uh, from the station that I want to set my undock to. I'm going to bring back up that people and places window and say add location. I'm going to call this one uh, station undock. How about that? I'll say submit. Now in order to test this bookmark, we're going to click on the station and say dock. I should warp back there rather than uh, rather than slow boat back and when we dock and then subsequently undock we'll see if the new undock bookmark that we set up actually works now the idea is like I said to have your ship warp straight away in case there's somebody camping it now it's too bad that that guy warped off but let's just say uh, this guy in this Armageddon 
is uh, is camping the gate or camping the station. So let me say undock, and as soon as we get out, we're gonna right click and warp to that uh, that station undock that we just set up. So here we go, undocking. Don't move the ship at all. Undock, warp. Now there is a little bit of a lining and that's just because stations are stupid and they kind of spit you out at random angles but you see what the idea is all right now let's just uh let's just go over what we talked about again just real quick now safe spots the idea is to have a place in the system that you can hide to make you very difficult to find a safe spot provides you a place where it's not possible to warp to you without using combat scan or probes Otherwise, they can find you with a directional scanner, which is something that I will talk about in a future episode. Now, another use for, for a bookmark is to set up a quick undock or something along those lines. You can actually set up uh, spots that are around 200k or so from, uh, from Stargates so that you can sit there and watch them without too much risk of somebody flying to you. Or something along those lines, you know how now you know how to set up a bookmark. Now you can also set up bookmarks to save spots in uh, missions if you want to come back and salvage from your mission after uh, after you complete it. So if you're in a battleship or something and you want to go grab a Noctis so that you can come back and salvage everything, that's fine. You can actually set up a bookmark and go right back to it. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. Please remember to rate and subscribe. I'll see you next time. This is Antti. Signing off.